Yeah, I'm just overjoyed because we've been working towards this point for 12 years, literally. Wow. We just celebrated our 12 year anniversary. And um, what we, as we were building my Ivana and serving the needs of the consumer, right? We realized that, okay, once we give them their hair analysis results, we tell them what products to use, right? The first question always is, where do we buy them? And so then we realized how important the retailers were to this equation of providing personalized guidance. Sometimes the results show us that your hair needs a little more love and care and you need a professional touch. So then we had to start recommending stylists. So we saw all these other components of what we now call our hair and beauty industry ecosystem. So the hair and beauty industry ecosystem, we drew it, I should put it on the screen. I'm gonna find it, <laughs> put, it on, put it on the screen. It was a network, imagine these hubs, right? All the sectors of the industry and they were all now connected and my Ivana makes that connection. So not only were we building a hair analysis technology, we were also building this digital infrastructure that now connects the whole entire industry. And guess what? That's what this whole table and this whole room represents. We're all at the table. Yes. And this is, this is the first time this has happened, that we now see the manifestations of you all who represent all the sectors of the industry. Truly. So this is really, it's a historical moment. Y'all know when they talk about them billion dollar companies in the early days and the pictures and the table. Somebody take a picture. Cause... Yes. Okay, thank you. He's Leonard. Like, I mean, Leonard, he, he, the revolution will be televised. Um, but we're documenting the journey. So that's what this moment represents. We call this the table of hair innovation. And we're about to enter the future of hair care. So I want everyone to know who everyone is. So I just want to start with introductions. If everyone could just introduce yourself, who you are, what sector of the industry you represent, and what is your why? What is your why for why you do what you do? And, or even what was your why for wanting to be here tonight? So we'll go around, they're gonna serve the dinner as we go, so feel free to eat. This does not have to be formal, this is like family. I wanted it to feel like family. That's why we're here um, at this location. And, um, and yeah, so much is gonna come out, um, but a few acknowledgements. I just wanna thank the Mayavana team. Shout out to the Mayavana team. We've been working all weekend to get to this moment. Actually, this moment came to fruition because we exhibited at CES in January and uh, we demoed, we actually yeah. launched our technology with Ulta at CES and that was a historical moment as well. <laughs> but also I had one meeting set up, one presentation and that was to P&G. So we presented um, personalized consumer hair journeys to provide personalized guidance to your consumers as they change their hair and really eliminate the trial and error across the market. So that's what all of our B2B partnerships are for. So Erin is here tonight um, representing My Black is Beautiful and Procter and & Gamble. Um, and we did our first activation with them this weekend. It went so well. Um, yes, yes. We got 4.9 out of 5 stars. So I'm like, okay, okay. I think we're looking good so far. Yes. yes. So and everyone had great testimonials to share. So it was a very successful weekend for us. So I just want us to get to know each other. We'll go into um, our Retail Innovation Academy with Brain Trust. Um, and yeah, continue the journey from here. So I'll start with Kendra. Hey. Um, well, I'll stand up so that I can hug Candace and not cry. <laughs> yes. uh, but everyone does not stand up. You'll, you'll meet me together like this. Okay, so I'm Kendra Bracken Ferguson. This is such an honor um, to be here. I'm wearing two hats. So one, just a fan of Candace and an admirer, Aww. a supporter as black female founder to black female founder. Yes. And we met and I was like, oh my gosh. And then we kept reconnecting and then we were speaking together and right. then we had our moment and it's been amazing. So I'm the founder and CEO of Brain Trust Founder Studio. We're the largest membership-based platform for Black founders in beauty and wellness. We also have a $15 million 
venture fund. So I'm a black female venture capitalist. Yes. Well, one of very few. <laughs> um, and so my Ivana, we had the privilege and honor of being one of their investors. And we were able to invest a million dollars into the brands um, and work with Candace and her amazing team and Ulta on this new rollout. And I get emotional because, and I, I, these are probably supposed to be 30 seconds. <laughs> give, me a, give me a second. But I get emotional because I'm a 310 founder and I was part mm. of the first group of 100 black women to raise more than a million dollars for my first company back yeah. in 2013. Wow, that's right. And that journey and the type of investor that I had where I thought we were going to change the world and we were going to have board meetings and do all these things and it didn't happen. Mm. And so when I had the opportunity to sell my company and to do these things and to create a venture fund, I knew that Candace was going to be the type of founder that I wanted to invest in and have impact. And I believe in community mentorship, education, and capital. And that's what it takes. And when we talk mm. about an ecosystem of people being here, everybody in this room is so important to being of service to each other and helping to change the future for what it looks like for us to build generational wealth, generational yes. inheritance with our parents being part of it, with our children. Yes. And so it is a supreme honor to be here with you, to be here with all of you and let's change the game. Yes, so we will. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, and everyone be faster because I messed it up for all of us. <laughs> I know what so would happen. <laughs> what would happen. All right, everybody. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Melissa Hibbert. I'm the president of Brand Trust Founders Studio. Recently appointed in April and have had the supreme pleasure of um, actually meeting Candace back in 2015 at one mm -hmm. of her one of her very first presentations of my Havana. Yeah, I think we were exhibiting for a tour that Allocate Naturals was Correct. doing at the time, the yes. Rise Tour. It's like a women empowerment tour, yeah. yeah. So here we are, full circle moment, and what we'll share in a little while, but I'm grateful to, to be here. And my why are moments like this. I mean, we all haven't introduced ourselves, but I know that everyone is making an impact, the seat at the table, but also the work that you're doing that none of us know about and mm -hmm. the desires that you all have for, um, for excellence in the work and the business and collectively how that energy is going to continue to move our industry forward and the impact that we make. So I'm yes. happy. That's my why. Like I want Amen. to be and build more tables like this. Yes. And then for it to reverberate out. Into the awesome. World. Yes. yes. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Ken Williams. My background is electrical and computer engineering. And um, so I have a technology consulting company. So we do sales, marketing, and business development, and angel investment. So I met Candace in January at the Consumer Electronics Show, and I was so impressed. Uh, I think Candace is our ultimate genius. And I told her uh, different technology companies I worked with over the years, uh, they call a company a unicorn if the valuation starts pre revenue and it goes towards a billion. Mm -hmm. And the previous company I worked at, they did an assessment of 11 companies over 10 years that their funds had worked on and that went uh, to unicorns. I worked with six of them. Wow. So I'm excited about the opportunity I see for That's Candace. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, so my why, uh, over the years, I've helped uh, a number of uh, other uh, non-minority companies become very successful. And it was an empty feeling. So my why is similar to what Coco uh, is saying that uh, T.D. Jakes did a, a book last year, uh, Disruptive Thinking, and he pointed out that 96% of black businesses are sole proprietorships. Or if they are an LLC or corporation, they only have one or two people. So how can you scale? How can you get to 100 million? How can you get to a billion? You can't. So that's what we do. Um, so I'm unapologetically black. Um, I have a nice team. And not only uh, we invest, but we play fractional roles in the company. So um, now I brought the, uh, the hair scope. So I'm excited uh, the launch you know, for, for the hair scope and for the distribution and charging manufacturing and working with Oliver, Coco, and of course, Karen uh, to scale the Marvon Pro to hairstylists. So that's 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 the mission to yeah. to drive revenue, escort sales, my brother pro, get the revenue, and then yeah. bring trust and others on evaluation. That's that's what I do. You know, get us to the point so that those 
big numbers come in as a lot. Yeah. I know. Ken was a godsend. He just came up to the booth and the connection started there. He brought us, first he brought us some friends and then he brought us an investment, <laughs> invest in the company. Then he brought our um, hardware engineering team. We literally met them at CES to now manufacture the Hairscope. So this is all happening in real time. So I'm just saying it's, it's happening. And he, we have the samples tonight. You'll get to see them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Thank you for jumping on board <laughs> the, the train king. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's a Laura bill. <laughs> Oh, okay. This idea, of course, the brainchild of, of, of Candace, but in, in a recent, I, where were we? I can't even remember where we were when we actually, we talked, this is a couple months ago, we talked right. about the idea of, of wanting to expand into the beauty retail space. And I have some work and background and experience penetrating that marketplace. And so we discussed um, how we would be able to support Branches Founder Studio and the work that we do and how we're able to support and amplify the work that Maya Vanna is doing. So Kenneth and I have been talking, we built, we figured it all out and we will be piloting uh, to 10 stores initially around the country and we started with a phenomenal store in our own backyard. Glow and Flow is a, an, an innovative beauty supply store um, owned by Diane Valentine and her husband. They also are the owners of products like braiding hair, etc. But they're, this is their second retail store that they built from the ground up. And we thought yeah. it was the perfect uh, ground to not just film, but also to launch in the LA marketplace, this Retail Innovation Academy, Brain Trust Founder Studio partnership, well, Maya Bond in partnership with Brain Trust Founder Studio. So just wanted to share, we filmed this video earlier this week and we rushed yeah. to This is the first premiere. Yeah. So you guys get this, this, this sneak peek, okay? So this promotional video will be shared um, on all platforms as well as live on the landing site for the innovation program, so. Yes, all right, here we go. Welcome to a new era of beauty and innovation. I'm Candice Mitchell, founder and CEO of Myavana, and I'm excited to introduce the Retail Innovation Academy. At Myavana, we believe in the power of personalized hair care solutions. Our mission is to revolutionize the beauty industry by providing personalized product recommendations tailored to each person's unique hair needs. That's why we partnered with Brain Trust Founder Studio to bring you the Retail Innovation Academy. Together, we're dedicated to supporting black-owned beauty supply stores across the country with personalized hair care technology that helps them grow their businesses and serve their customers in a personalized way. As the president of Brain Trust Founder Studio, our partnership with Maya Bana allows us to empower store owners and their associates with the tools and knowledge they need to provide exceptional service and personalized recommendations to their customers every day. The Retail Innovation Academy offers comprehensive training programs, virtual and hands-on workshops, with cutting-edge technology to enhance the way you serve your customers. From understanding unique hair types and textures to recommending the best products, we cover it all. <laughs> With Myavana's technology, we provide personalized hair care solutions that make a real difference. By analyzing hair strands, we recommend the best products to achieve healthy, beautiful hair. When the customer enters the retail store, they get their unique hair type analysis in three easy steps. First, they take a photo of their hair. Then they tell us their hair goals, hair challenges, and product preferences. Then they receive their results along with their product recommendations that they can pick up right in your store. They get the guidance that they need and also you can track their journey for every hairstyle along the way. The Retail Innovation Academy is here to elevate and innovate the beauty industry. Join us on this journey to bring personalized hair care to your community. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So that is the sneak peek. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and uh, I'm gonna just let this continue to play. So this is what we'll use to record re recruit our store so owners. Oh. Transform the way beauty supply stores innovate and enter the future of their Okay, that was the true end of it. There we go. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> so yes, so. That's what we'll be sharing starting July 15th. Um, our pilot recruitment will open. Um, and we'll be um, launching this for retail as well as salons mm -hmm. um, and also hair care brands um, offering consumer insights from our hair analysis data. So this is the beginning of the next phase of this journey, I will say. This is definitely growth mode, yes. but we want to do that through partnerships. Yes. So we don't want to recreate the wheel. We don't want to make our own products and compete in the market. We really want to collaborate yeah. and get your products to the customers who need it right in your own backyard, right in the zip code, right? Mm -hmm. All store, store owners in their zip codes can own their territory. Mm -hmm. So they're also getting product sales from people who are using the Mayavana app and they're getting product recommendations. Yep. So now this actually allows us to transform into retail overnight because my big vision for Mayavana is to be the Amazon of hair care. Mm. And we know, we have the data on what you need for your hair at all times. So pretty soon you're going to get a notification from Mayavana that says, hey Kendra, what hairstyle are we doing next? Uh -huh. We get you your new product recommendations and say, hey, all right, your recommendations are ready. You can pick up your products at Glow and Flow Beauty Supply. Done. Right. And yep. you can also, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you can also have it delivered to you. Yep. And we're going to do that in partnership with Amazon. Oh. So this nice. is the exclusive intel right here. What's interesting is P&G reached out to one of our partners about distributing products through Black-owned beauty supply stores. Mm. So we could potentially pick up that conversation. And another thing I wanted to share is um, we also opened our first retail store globally in Uganda. Yes. Yes where we're gonna start retailing the products that we recommend. Um, so that has, been, that has been an exciting adventure the past two years for me, another one of my baby projects. Um, but Mayel is actually one of our top selling brands right now. So Moisture Love also, Janelle was here um, briefly. Um, Can2 is another one. So it's just good to get this data. We gotta get your products recommended, yes. right? So now you have a new distribution channel. And um, what this ultimately is going to lead to is every person will soon have their own digital hair profile. Mm -hmm. So when you go shopping, when you go shopping at Target, you can check in to Target and get your personalized recommendations. Mm -hmm. When you're shopping on Amazon, when you're shopping in Ulta, we're already live on Ulta. Um, but also, when you're needing products, I can route you to the local beauty supply store so we can drive sales to their stores as well. Yeah. Yep. So the footprint is truly global. Um, plugging in our small businesses and also the stylists. When it's time for a hair check-in, we're like, okay, you need an appointment with Oliver. Here you go, boom, we're gonna make sure he takes care of you. Yeah. So that's where we're headed, so thank you. <laughs> all right, everyone, I just wanna toast to all of you, all of the amazing people that make this all possible. Our Hair and Beauty Network is live, powered by Mayavana. We are here at the table of hair innovation. And the future of hair care is here. So cheers to all of you. And much success. Yes. All right. Let's do this. Thank you.